Welcome back. We've just completed Pharaohs, and that ends all three of the main story missions before the final one, Ilos. Um, in the somewhat unusual order that I'm doing this. There is no music. This is very weird. That's just because we came out of the uh, debriefing. Let's see if saving and reloading does something. There, now we have music. Let's see if anybody has anything to say about our recent adventure. Uh, hey, Commander, next time we touch down, let's try not to park the ship in a colony of mutant zombies. Just thinking out loud here. I'll give it a try. I have to go. All right, see you. Of course, um, we can't go anywhere after this because we will get dragged back to the Citadel. Let's see what Caden has to say. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. Out of a deal you worked out with Jong, though. <laughs> if I ever get a speeding ticket, I want you to be my advocate. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Honestly, Shepard could probably convince um, the court to owe you money. Oh, we can open this again. Got some more fairly useless stuff. Does Liara have anything to say about this mission? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Okay, I think we're completely out of uh, dialogue. Other than reactions to the mission, so that means I still want to talk to... At least some of the crew. The cipher was a really interesting idea, I think. I kind of mentioned earlier that I like that Shepard, in this game at least. Um, why is that? This way, it's this side of the elevator to text is the right way around. This way, it's mirrored. Um, and I like that Shepard. I mean, obviously, she's a really good soldier and was a candidate for the Spectres. But the real reason she gets dragged into this adventure is not some kind of chosen one bullshit, but um, because she just happens to be the person who got that vision from the beacon. And now she has had two of such visions, and she has the cipher, which helps her understand that. And I think that really just... You know, that was such a perfect hook for Shepard to remain at the center of this adventure. It made her the perfect person to go and look for... Um, a way to defeat the Reapers, and it's kind of a shame that uh, the other two games never did anything with that. Like, the Cypher only ever gets brought up, I think, in Javik's mission, where you find the mission where you find Javik in Mass Effect 3, and on Thessia in Mass Effect 3, but the only kind of as a side thing. Which um, is a shame. I think that would have worked better than the whole collector's angle where Cerberus really only recruited Shepard because they thought he was a hero, a bloody icon whatever that means Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For, I've thought a lot about and I've been, I really, he escaped under my watch and I didn't like Words mean nothing. Well, I'm alone. If the people I'm sworn to protect can't trust I'm glad you see it that Don't way. Don't worry, Commander. I will. And that's the same conversation we've already had twice. Shepard. 
Rex. Okay, I'm fairly sure Tintali is not gonna say anything either then. Let's just make sure, though. Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? I should go. See you later. Well, I always need more Tali in my life, but uh, it's not an option. Okay, what I'm very curious about... Looking for supplies? Is whether or not... Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. I can actually buy... No, I can't. Do I need to go to the Citadel? To buy Spectre Level 10 weapons? Or I'm just never going to be able to buy them. I don't know, he does not have anything else that looks interesting. Yeah. Since it's been rare to get good light armor, I'm gonna buy this. Which means that, of course, I'm going to uh, uh, find good uh, light armor as soon as we do something else. How about this one? That's not very good. I'm not interested in any of the other weapons. That is what I'm using, isn't it? It is! Um, I really want Spectre level 10 pistol. I don't know why I can't buy it. Maybe after I go back to the Citadel. I'm actually not going to deal with my inventory yet, because um, in case I do get to buy... Uh, um... Anything decent on the Citadel. I want to sell stuff after I do that to make the most of my money, even though it's kind of pointless at this point. But the Spectre Level 10 weapons are expensive, and maybe I can swing it so I can buy them for everyone. If we get to buy them. If not, then I don't really know what's wrong, because... I did not see any indication that that would only be possible in a second playthrough. And we're definitely a high enough level. Um, level 27, which is the equivalent of 54 in the original, which is as high as I got in the original Let's Play. It's about as high as you can get in the original unless you get out of the Mako and do everything on foot so you don't get the loss of experience. Um, this will just forever be here now. Nothing we can do about that. But, um, I believe we have no choice but to return to the Citadel. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. That's not how that's gonna work out. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the Conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Um... No, it's not. The Conduit is a backdoor into the Citadel, and you, none of you are prepared for that. Or for the fact that Sovereign is an actual Reaper. 
One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. I doubt that. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The Conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Remind me why I should save you again. If Saren finds the Conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I have done, you still don't believe me! I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. He's more concerned about his career than the Reapers. Commander. Shepard. I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything. Everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the Conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal, and get them to reverse their decision. I doubt that. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. He did that on purpose. You cannot convince me otherwise. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The Captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Although I don't really think that he was spying on us, per se, because if he was, he probably would have wanted to watch, especially with... Uh, and <laughs> with female shepherd involved. Um, let's take Garris and Tolly. My favorite team. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. And after all, um, Quarian. Okay. <laughs> That didn't uh, look right. Quarian armor is one of the few things that I would actually be interested in buying. Other than Spectre weapons, which hopefully I can get. I'd love to see what the Normandy can do in a fight. How so? The Normandy is built for stealth, not combat. But the stealth drive adds a new tactical level to space combat as we know it. Surprise attacks, undetected flanking maneuvers. If it comes to a fight, I'd prefer a flotilla ship. It's easier to trust what you've worked on yourself. I guess so. There are a few things we can do on the Citadel. 
But, um... I remember exactly what they are. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Yes, okay, we can buy these. Okay, I'm going to buy all four of these. And hopefully I can buy more from the Normandy requisition officer. It's quite a lot of money, but nothing too bad. I'm assuming this is better than what I have. Not even by that much. 294 versus 276. And that's pretty good, of course, for the sniper rifle. Wait, Garrus actually has a sniper rifle that's better than the Spectre sniper rifle. The seven level 7 Spectre rifle. Anyway... So, okay, yeah, we're gonna get all four of those. So, yeah, you cannot buy this until you get to the Citadel lockdown. That is the real trigger. And other than that, I don't think you really have anything of interest, do you? That's not great. And everything else is gonna be too low level to care about. We'll buy a license, why not? Um, so I want... Wait, why did I buy this? I literally have nobody who can use this. Oh, it's not like it matters. More than enough money. Alright. We'll get this pistol. And sorry, Garrus, I want the super duper sniper rifle. I'll give you one if we get the opportunity to buy another. Um, Gare's rifle was already better than my level 7 one. And Tali can have the Spectre level 10 shotgun. Sledgehammer rounds 9. Coil 9. I'm just doing this. That's not really that important right now. Do we have a scram rail 9? Yeah, we do. Um, I guess I could do Garrus 2, Snowbot rounds 10, Kinetic Coil 9, scram rail 9. That's already fine. And I, I guess you get this. Wait, it's actually worse. It's actually worse than the Gef Armory Pulse Rifle thing that he has. Okay. This was a pointless purchase. But again, not like it matters. I have 6 million credits and I haven't even sold my inventory yet. Um, let's see. Like, I don't really remember what else there is to do on the Citadel. It's really only two things that I remember. There's, um, the, the people protesting in the wards and Conrad Werner. Remember if there's anything in the Presidia. I do want to visit those vendors just in case they have something interesting. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. That's what we just did. Let me actually look, uh, if I can, I don't want to forget anything. Um, 
Should be two. Negotiator's request and our own worst enemy. What's negotiator's request? Oh, he's the guy standing outside. Flux. That's right. Um, I always go in the wrong elevator. Literally always. Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. That's also what we did. Most of the news is about what we did at this point. Okay, I meant to go in that elevator. Yeah, okay, so we do have one other assignment, but it's near Flux, so I wouldn't have missed it anyway. Admiral Kahoku, a respected member of the Alliance military, has passed away. The veteran soldier who won the love of his troops during conflict with the Batarians died of natural causes. Kahoku is survived by his wife and three children who are planning a small private memorial service. So I really only need to go here. Um... Because, um, well, primarily because I want to see the Presidium one more time. <laughs> and because I want to go to the financial district and talk to uh, the merchant there. Other than that, there's nothing left for us to do up here. Other than see this place intact the last time, the last chance we get. Because I already said this is my favorite version of the Presidium of all the three games, so even though we'll be back here, it won't be the same. I sincerely doubt that the uh, this guy will have much of interest. But oh, that's a Vena that's on the map. It's like, why is there something on the map there? Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so. We don't need to listen to that again. Um... Oh, these are good. Krogan armor. Colossus 10. Warlord is worse. Yeah, there's no point not to buy it. It's the same brand of uh, armor that uh, Tali has. Just Krogan. Um... I don't know for sure that this is better than what Rex currently has, but probably. This tech biotic isn't great. But, uh... Might as well buy it and find out. Just if I need to sell stuff... Um... To get more money... With what I'm doing here, I need to be careful not to sell stuff that I... Want, but not haven't used yet. Let's see if any of these are better than what Garrus's armor currently is. Um, this one's kind of a wash. That one's just objectively worse. Oh, because it's Krogan. Um, also objectively worse. That's what he's wearing. So, no. Nothing else of interest here. Commander, it is good to see you again. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not... Um... Grenade upgrade 5. That's always good. Wait, didn't I get new armor for myself and did I not equip it? I did. Commander. Show me your items. 
And, um, yeah, none of that's interesting. Alright, let's head down to... the, um, wards. I'm actually gonna run, because I just enjoy it, and I want to make sure that if we have any more chance for squad mate dialogue, um, we get to, uh, experience it. No need to look for keepers anymore, because we got that one. It's not like we need the money from it now anyway. That's why I never bother with waiting to do that later. I guess if you don't do all the side quests, then it can be beneficial to leave the keeper assignment until later. are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. I want squad mate dialogue. Not news reports. There's nothing else here. Other than the spacer mission that we did before. In a further development in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. We already heard that one. That's annoying. Um, but hey, I tried. Excuse me! You're the Spectre, right? Alright, these are the uh, demonstrators or whatever they are. Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest. As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. Wait, wasn't it Armistice Day when we were talking to Ashley way earlier? Are we supposed to believe that all of this is happening on one day? Which if you look at like the FTL speeds of ships traveling between systems that are not linked by mass relay is absolutely impossible. Um, I think Ashley does have some dialogue here if you bring her. Wasn't exactly an option this time. I thought the lesson of the first contact war was that there's other life in the galaxy and they have opinions too. Perhaps so, Commander. But if aliens feel free to express their opinions at gunpoint, why shouldn't we? What happened at the mass relay was a misunderstanding. If you saw a child about to touch a gun, wouldn't you stop them? I'd pull them away, yes. I wouldn't shoot them dead. Um, yeah. I guess, but they didn't really have a way of communicating with us. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. Yes, and I grew up in space too, which I guess you're not mentioning this time? I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. But many of your subordinates make this a point of race, not politics. Excuse me, I don't believe human politics are any of your business. Turian space borders yours. Of course we're concerned about your leadership. We live in this galaxy, Mr. Saraceno. We can't pretend that what we do affects no one else. No, of course not. My apologies. 
I only meant to point out that other species have no right to interfere in Alliance politics. Sorry, I believe we need to work peacefully with other races. We've heard that before in human history. Well-meaning naivete leads to declarations of peace in our time. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. I don't suppose I could convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy. The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. Two words. Hell no. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. You have the right to your opinion, Mr. Saraceno, but with all due respect, I disagree with it. I understand. I'm glad you support the democratic process, at least. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Well, at least he's nice about it, which is no blood for aliens. More than can be said about a lot of people like this. Um, we need to go to Flux, but I want to deal with Conrad Werner first. And check out that market too. And yeah, I disagree with his opinion, but you know, free speech. Like, I don't like what you have to say, but I will fight for your right to say it. I do want to talk to these guys too. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing supplies for your return to the colonies? I've already been there, so no, not really. But sure. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Um, heavy human armor, which would be great if we had anybody who could wear it. Uh, nothing else looks interesting. And Conrad Commander, Werner. I've been waiting for you to get back. I've got an idea and I wanted to run it by you. What's on your mind? With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Um, what are your qualifications exactly? Why would you want to be a specter, Conrad? Because I wanted to show the council what humanity can do, just like you. I'd make a great specter. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at a coups, but I'd never let you down. What is he planning on doing? Boring his enemies to death? Honestly, Blasto would make a more realistic specter than this guy. What about your wife, Conrad? She trusts you too. Aren't you letting her down? What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. That level is up. I mean, he's not a bad guy. He means well. He's just a little over-enthusiastic. Um, I don't know. Pistols and barrier. At this point, I basically have everything I want. Garrus. Um, damping and first aid. Only two more levels to go. And Tali actually has quite a lot. Um. Electronics, decryption, damping, first aid, shotguns, and basic armor. Why not? We only got four more points for everybody. Alright, let's go talk to the merchant down here. Marlin's famous shop. They say what you want about his marketing, but I do remember that. 
Yes, human. You need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Uh, we don't really have any reason to, um... Uh, talk to... Uh, Dr. Michelle, because the only thing she sells is medical, uh... Upgrades for your armor. And I don't need those. Um... I don't think that's better than what I just bought. It's all got Krogan armor. You got Quarian armor, but not better than what we have. Yes, human. You need something, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I... And, um, nothing of interest there. Why is this Krogan armor not under the non-human armor categories? I never got that. Okay, let's go meet Captain Anderson. Who should be waiting for us in uh, Flux? And there should be the other assignment there, which I was just looking up on my laptop. Just don't want to miss anything, you know. Could I take a moment of your time? Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I understand. It's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. Kind of sounds like the pill the Martians on the Expanse use when they're interrogating somebody. What exactly is this stimulant? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. If you know the monthly limits, why'd you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Solarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? <sighs> My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. You should put some trust in your assistant. Um, <laughs> my assistant. No race will respect us no until we show them who's that. in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. After this deal is finished, I'll get treatment. You know what? I'll stop drinking tomorrow. Sure, I believe you. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're... you're right, uh... I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. 
I I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. Alright. If only it was that easy to convince addicts in real life to get help. Still can't believe that could happen out in the open like that. I'm glad you came, Jimmy. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel Controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. Yeah, that was honestly kind of a dumb question. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador won't forgive this, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. I think Citadel Control, he does get shot at a bunch, but uh, he will survive. Uh, there's no way for Anderson to die in this uh, game. However, if he breaks into Adina's office, he gets to punch him, and that is way too satisfying to give up. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Um, I believe so. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Okay. Um, I guess we still need to walk back to the Normandy. Which really just means going back to uh, CSEC. And maybe I can take the right elevator for once, but I do want to check if by some weird coincidence maybe he has more Spectre weapons for sale. Hello, Commander. Show me what you got. He does not. Didn't really think so. The uh, Alliance guy should have him though. This is to Docking Bay, yes. Treaty negotiations between the Alliance and the Salarian Republic have finally concluded. Salarians praised the openness and flexibility of Alliance negotiators in pursuing a deal that benefited both sides. The deal was brokered by new Alliance negotiator Thomas Kent after his mentor Elias Keeler withdrew, citing health reasons. That was fast. All right, let's uh, go steal a starship, cause a yellow alert in space dock. Stand by shore party, decontamination in progress.
Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send... <clears throat> Get us out of here, Joker. Now. All right, we did it. We're out free to go to Ilos, but of course we have a few more assignments to deal with before that point. Still have our Paragon mission, Besieged Base, and we have uh, these three missions we found on Pharaohs. Um, as well as I think one more random exploration mission, maybe even two. But, um, now I want to go deal with my inventory because I don't want to have to run into exceeding limit messages while doing assignments. Actually, does Joker have anything to say about our escape just now? Does anybody? If not, I will cut that out, I guess. Oh damn it, no sign of pursuit? I was hoping the council would send some ships after us. I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. You'll get your chance. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide-and-seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. So you need something? I have to go. Alright, see ya. I expect he's the only one who has dialogue about this very remote chance that Caden does. Let's check just in case. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. Out of a deal, you. <laughs> if I ever get a speeding. Ticket. We'll talk another time, Commander. Okay, I actually managed to buy more level 10 Spectre weapons, so. Everybody has them now, except Caden. Sorry, Caden. He has my old pistol. I could buy a third Spectre pistol. But uh, to do that, I would need to land on another major port. Can't go back to the Citadel. But if you land at any major port, the Alliance uh, recruitment, whatever, not somebody's called. Whatever, the guy in the <laughs> cargo bay um, will um, restock whenever you land at a major port like Novaria or Pharos. So you could always go back there. I believe I did do that in the Let's Play. Um, but right now, I do not need to because the gun Caden has is fine everybody else is taken care of um, anyway we have a few more things to do and uh, among other things there is actually another mission in Atkin Beta where Pharaohs is in the uh, Hercules system. Which can only be found by random exploration. So Message coming in. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go ground side and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. 
and uh, there's no way to get this mission any other way. You would logically find it uh, when doing pharaohs if you are meticulous about checking every medallion. I think all we need is the Turian thing and some medals. And they still give XP. If you're meticulous about exploring, you're going to find it when you do a pharaohs, I would think. Um, let's bring Rex and Caden. This is also the world where um, you get to use the trinket. That the Asari Consort gives you. It's also a pretty skybox, even though it is kind of hard to look at. Which is over here, which I remember is a pain to get to. Maybe the thrusters will make it a little bit easier. Thrusters do help. You kind of have to be careful with when you use them, because you kind of already have to have momentum, otherwise they're not very effective. So if you wait until you're stationary on the side of a wall, it's not going to do much. Mysterious globe. Examining this strange Prophean artifact reveals a small, irregular slot on the underside. Remembering the sta strange trinket you received from the Asari consort on the Citadel, you pull it out and place it into the slot. The ball explodes in a bril brilliant flash of white light, momentarily blinding and disorienting you. Slowly your senses return as you wake from a deep sleep. You are alone in the forest, though you are not far from the caves that you share with the others of your tribe. There is a pain and a small lump on the back of your skull as if a chip of flint had been forced under the surface of the skin. Leaning on your bone-tipped spear for support, you rise to your feet. A sound draws your attention upwards, where a strange creature hovers high above you. It is unlike the birds you hunt by the lake's edge. It has no head and no wings, yet somehow it flies. It is a beast of shining silver, hanging motionless in the sky like a cloud. You sense it is watching you, studying you. Raising a hairy fist, you shake your spear at it in anger, and the creature rises up quickly until it disappears from view. With a satisfied grunt, you make your way back to the caves and the rest of the tribe. You fall into the familiar patterns of life, the hunt for food, the struggle to claim and keep a mate, the battles against other tribes that would claim your territory. Days roll into nights and back into days. Each time you rise from sleep, there is a sensation that you are not alone, that some other is with you, sharing all you see, hear and feel. All these times your hand goes to the strange lump at the back of your skull, and you remember the silver creature in the sky. The air grows colder, winter falls. You must range further for food, clutching the furs tight against you to ward off the chill. It is on one of these long hunts that the strange bird returns. You hear it before it's you see it. It's a call, a deafening roar as it descends from above, swooping down on you. A single great eye opens from the underbelly, a glowing red orb. 
You try to run, but a finger of red light extends from the eye and engulfs you, and all goes black again. You wake an instant later to find yourself on Alitania, lying on your back, the Prophean artifact looming above you undamaged and your companion standing over you. They help you to your feet, puzzled. There was a flash of light and you just sort of toppled over, one explained. Are you okay, Shepard? The other asked. You don't answer right away, wondering at the implications of what you have seen. The memories of a Cro-Magnon hunter, captured by an implanted Prophean data, data recorder. How long did they study the primitive humans, observing them and analyzing results at their base on Mars? And what, if anything, did they learn from us? I'm fine, you finally reply, realizing that it is a mystery you will probably never solve. Forget about it. Nice little side story. Would have been nice if we'd had, like, you know, spoken dialogue for at least the last part, but... Um... Oh, I meant to do that. Alright, some dead monkeys and our probe. This is the surveillance drone, but where's the data module? A monkey-like creature seemed to have made off with the data module. Guess we're doing this the hard way. I guess we are. Um... There's a couple of these monkey colonies. That we need to investigate. And yeah, you basically need to search every monkey. Except that I know that none of the monkeys here have the module anyway. They make weird noises. Yeah, like... Kinda hard to keep track, at least. 
they stop being highlighted. I think I got all of them. Yeah, there isn't really any point to doing this because I know where the module is. You can kill the monkeys to sometimes amusing responses of your squad mates. But I don't feel like being cruel today. It's the one that's in the cave, and I'm pretty sure that's that one. We'll go to all of them, just to see if there's any more ore or stuff to find in the way. Okay, so I, I'm not going to bother searching all of the monkeys. There's really no point. From what I remember. And if I'm wrong, well, we'll have to come back. This is the cave one. So let's head inside. And I believe we will face Geth here. For some reason. Getting pretty decent medium and heavy armors, but uh, light armor still eludes us. Is everybody upgraded? No, Caden is not. Neural Shock is pretty nice, I guess. Sure. And Rex. Um, well, shotguns, combat armor, fitness, barrier. I think the Geth don't show up, show up until you're on the way out. And it's one of the monkeys in one of these two places, I believe, that has the module. We're just getting all level 10 equipment now. No more monkeys to search here. They dropped the data module. 
It's a miracle the data module's still intact. Joker can transmit this info to Alliance Command. I guess he can. Corian armor? Doubt it's very good. Yeah, I bet what she's wearing is better. Um, uh, can't check right now, obviously. All right, and the gaffer here. Not that they're gonna pose too much of a problem. Right in the way of, uh, Charging of, a shock, up. of a shock trooper, that's what you're doing. You're going to be the annoying one. So I don't really want to take you out. Okay. I was full health, full shields, and he took me out in one shot and didn't even have time to react. I thought I was safe. I don't even know what's happening. That is so ridiculous. Those are just cheap deaths. It's not even preventable. Excuse me. Why are you just all on top of me now? And Caden's dead. Okay. Does K did not have a medical thing? He does not. And I sold everything, so <laughs> he's stuck with that. Um finally use Metagel. Okay, I officially hate you now. Why 
watch him shoot me as I use powers. Like hap what happened the second time I died here. Okay. Well, we did get him. That was way harder than it needed to be. There's another one. Of course there's another one. Alright. Now we're good. found what we came for. No monkeys were harmed in the process. Let's finish up this planet and go. I was just checking to see if there was anything interesting to see from the last monkey colony, which there was not. Alright, um, let's see, we have a few other things. Uh, I kind of want to go do UNC Besieged Base, which is um, in the Keika system of Hades Gamma. Gold. Um, Hades Gamma, that's over here. But I want to go to Plutus first, because that's where the Renegade mission is. And there's nothing we can do on that planet except drive around and get stuff. And it may help me complete the uh, ore collection assignment, so I'm still going to go there. Uranium. Samarium. This is where the Renegade mission is, uh, which is um, UNC negotiation. Um, I don't know, we need Tali and the Rex, it doesn't really matter. Just need one of our tech people to make sure we can open everything. There's nothing we can do here. He can't go inside the compound. Unless you get the mission. 
The same is true of the Paragon mission if you are playing Renegade. Unless we manage to get 90% Paragon of our Renegade points before the end of the game, which pretty sure is not possible. But we're still gonna look for stuff, and I'll fast forward through all of it, so. Looks like I only have one light metal and one heavy metal left. And one more Turian emblem. Do nothing else here. No. That's it. So we'll move on and actually do the uh, Paragon assignment, Siege Base, which is in the system next door, in the next video.